nerds and welcome back to my channel thanks so much for tuning in so this is the third video in the mental health awareness series uh today we'll be talking about adhd what is adhd i mean who people don't even know what adhd is and i'm about to tell you what adhd is so first of all adhd is a neurodevelopmental disorder which includes symptoms such as inattentiveness impulsivity and hyperactivity adhd attention deficit hyperactivity disorder that's what adhd is the symptoms of adhd i've kind of already mentioned them inattentiveness impulsivity and hyperactivity this can come in fidgeting um self-focusing on themselves um not knowing what's going on being in their own little world in this video i will tell you the signs that you may have adhd uh, because many people aren't aware that they could have adhd but before i do that there are three different types of adhd the first one being someone who has predominant inattentive issues so these people have quite a low attention span the second one being people who are predominantly hyperactive as i said it's just being extremely hyperactive and the third one is a combination of hyperactivity and inattentiveness okay so now the signs that you may have adhd these are the symptoms of adhd more or less but i'm gonna go into them a little bit more forgetfulness this is normal this happens with many many different mental health issues or neurodevelopmental disorders and this is also just normal for a human being people with adhd literally the same as everybody else they forget things their mind wanders the same things that we do as normal people normal normal people <laughs> but yeah but it's just a bit more intense for them they have quite a self-focused behavior and what i mean by that is everything is about them like it's not that they mean to but that's their focal point it's like not being able to wait their turn so whether it's in a conversation maybe you're having a conversation with someone and they just burst out of nowhere oh by the way i've got this to say and this to say um sometimes they finish um the sentences before you've even got there so i'm asking a question maybe oh how are you fi i'm feeling great i'm fine i'm fine i'm great like before i've even got into the end of the question they do that obviously there's nothing wrong with this i mean go for it be eagle viva um sometimes they find it quite hard to cue so like shopping lines uh they can see and literally be like yeah i'm out which is normal like i'm the same i don't have adhd but i'm the same like when i see a really long cue it really does put me off except i will like stay there because i know i need this this item but for them it can be quite overwhelming and instead they'll just leave which i totally understand honestly who wants to stay in a queue traffic jams are the same to be fair they get quite aggressive in in traffic jams um beeping honking way more than they need to because they need to get somewhere and they need to get somewhere now so as i said before everything's very much focused on them they have a short attention span so if you're having a conversation with them they mind wonder they're thinking about something else because they can't focus on what you're talking about and you know what sometimes it isn't really their fault maybe you're just boring to be fair yeah sometimes the conversation is not that interesting so maybe like in a lecture their mind wanders quite a bit um people with adhd they fidget quite a bit so you see this moving this from side to side to side or playing with their hair a lot or like just fidgeting one part of their body a lot obviously like this is not for every single person with adhd individual differences everyone's completely different but it does happen quite a bit they fidget quite a bit sometimes they have an urge to stand up and they will just stand up they'll just get up and leave obviously like we've all been told that like it's impolite so social standards can eat up in that like they they can't freely express themselves or like if they really need to just get up maybe in a lecture or, or an interview or like a meeting they won't get up because they know that the social cues say sit down but if it's bad enough they can just get up from a lecture and just leave because they cannot be contained for that long and who can be contained for that long why am i sitting in a lecture room for three hours let me know i just i just already get that it just doesn't make much sense but we move they have a trouble getting organized or just being organized in general so they normally put loads of like reminders and like little pointers everywhere so that they can remember things but sometimes even with those reminders they do forget things i've spoken to a lot of people with adhd and they always tell me that they always forget even with their reminders they forget and if they lose their phone they are they're finished because all their reminders are on their phone that's literally like their life 
in their phone basically more or less um sometimes people with adhd have a hard time with their emotions so they can be they can they can feel quite a lot of emotional turmoil really um they can get quite aggressive they can have quite aggressive outbursts um a comorbidity of adhd is depression so they can be quite sad or be quite anxious that does come with it sometimes as well one of the last points would be their daydreaming and their impulsiveness so they are way more likely to just do whatever they want to do whenever they want to do it because they're impulsive which i really do envy i wish i could be impulsive everything i do in my life needs to be planned out otherwise i'm not doing it so yeah they they, they have the freedom to just be able to do this and that and go from this thing to that thing which is i mean i think that's truly phenomenal because for me an autistic person life does not work like that for me like that that kind of lifestyle is stressful for me but for a person with adhd this is a day in the life of them and finally daydreaming that's just normal for them really they, they daydream so much more and this is why i think it's so essential for them to get like extra time and exams and stuff because imagine having an exam and just daydreaming and you can't help that you're daydreaming then you definitely need that extra time but anyways thank you so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe Write down below any mental health issues or neurodevelopmental disorders that you want me to talk about on my channel. Bye, guys.